Good morning, Option Addicts. It's Tuesday morning, and it is, what, April 24th? Yeah. So, on to the PCAR trade. Uh, looking at it right now, you can see the stock's up 10%. Uh, I noticed a few comments of those who happened to hold over earnings last night. And for those that did, congratulations. Huge move out of the underlying. So on to uh, better news. I've got my uh, list of patterns that I wanted to run through today. In fact, I'm going to try to do two videos back to back and post two separate files, kind of a, a part one and part two, if you will. Uh, first one we're going to go to here is Boeing. And for those of you that missed the ascending triangle break at about 92 and a half, you can see uh, price is starting to flag here a little bit. Uh, I'm out in front of this one by a little ways, but uh, you know, watch for a consolidation of the price action on Boeing. Uh, before it makes the next leg higher. I think this could end up being a good trade maybe uh, you know a week or so from now after it's kind of done flagging. Uh, next I've got GPC, Genuine Parts Company. And I was watching this kind of as a uh, symmetrical triangle. A little consolidation in the price action here. You can see on earnings it spiked up outside of the upper resistance level. And this is kind of another classic reason of why I wait until Last hour of the day to place all of my trades it's to avoid situations like that where it looks like the stock's going to break out yet ends up closing still within the confines of your support and resistance lines. So this I'm still waiting for a breakout for about a two and a half point move. Yeah, I know it's a fifty dollar stock, but it's not a very volatile one. So that's GPC. Next is Nike on the list. And I think this one's getting closer and closer to a breakout, so that's why I've got it here for you today. Uh, I'm watching this for a breakout. Oops, of above uh, 55 or so. Forgive my uh, not exact lines here, but ascending triangle on Nike, looking for a breakout. Looks like it's uh, bouncing off support, starting to turn higher. On this last push higher, I think it breaks, and stock runs for about four or five points. After Nike, we've got PETS, PetsMed. I don't know, but I, I like to watch uh, price patterns on some cheap stocks occasionally, and this one's been one I've been watching for quite a while. Strong resistance at about 11.75 that just gave way yesterday. So looking at this is about a two and a quarter dollar move on an $11 stock. I'm looking at just probably shorten the thing. I mean, the price of the stock is like an in the money option itself. So uh, looking at this over about a three month, yeah, two to three months, looking for it to come down here and test its lows at about nine and a half. Next on my list is ATU. Accutant and symmetrical triangle here. And that's the uh, the longer term version here, coming off of bottom. Just price has kind of uh, been coiling as of recently. Today it looks like it's uh, gapped open this morning, so this might be a, a tradable event here, come closer to the close. But watch ATU because the movement here, you know, is pretty good for about what is it, fifty five dollar stock. We're looking at about a seven and a half dollar movement, so I like it. Next is DW, Drew Industries. And I'm watching this kind of as an ascending triangle. Look at that guy. Four point move, five point move on a $30 stock. Ends up being a, a great percentage return once it does finally break. Uh, however, getting pretty close to earnings, so it might be that earnings call that makes it finally move. Uh, on to the next one, Expeditors. EXPD, and I'm looking at this very, very, very short term. You got a good support here right at about 41. You got some lower highs. So a little descending triangle. Looking for about a two to three point movement when it finally gives way from support. Next on the list, FPIC. Flag pattern. Looking at a uh, you know pretty big spike in price. Starting to flag downward. Watch for the break higher. Private bank court. There, I've been watching this one for months. Was able to get in at the close of this yesterday, getting a little bit of continuation out of it this morning, which I like. Uh, looking at the stock, I mean, from the uh, pattern specs here, it's about a four point move. It made out a pretty good amount of that yesterday, but uh, good continuation today. We'll see how it moves. Next, SCSS. Uh, good, good support level down here at about, what, 17 or so. And recently, some some lower highs again. That's not very act, that line sucks, but uh, descending triangle here, looking for a break below 17 to get a nice little ride out of this for about two points or so. 
and a couple others, R-A-V-N. All right, symmetrical triangle. Watching this guy for a break, kind of out of a sideways trend though, which has me kind of concerned, but uh, pretty volatile stock once it does finally break. So I'm watching R-A-V-N and Q-S-I-I. Same deal here, another uh, little triangle, much better trend. So those are the price patterns that I've got uh, nailed out for this week. I've also got a, a tremendous amount of support bounce and resistance bounces and other breakouts and things like that. I'll get to that in the uh, part two video coming out a little bit later. Uh, thanks everyone for your participation and I uh, hope you guys are knocking it out in the market. Take care. Bye-bye.